Okay, here we are for another video. We're gonna talk about the push-up and go really deep into um, what you might call the psychology behind people just doing really bad push-ups and not giving themselves a chance to even get better at them. Um, push-ups are like a staple exercise, right? Like you've heard of them since you maybe even first did a workout in PE class in middle school, right? Like push-ups are as old as Steve Bechtel and that guy's super old. Um, but seriously, people like think that when they see push-up on the workout board or their app where they've got a workout or, or, or where they are doing wherever their workout's coming from, they see push-up, they think it just needs to be on the ground. That's where push-up's done. Turns out push-ups are pretty hard um, and require a lot of strength, a lot of core strength, and yes, some push muscles. But people are doing push-ups very sloppily uh, for many, many reps and they just never get better at them. They hurt their lower back, their elbows start to wing out, and we're not actually really gaining any strength. We're just gaining the ability to do really, really crappy push-ups until we die. So what we're talking about here is when we do push-ups, Anytime it's in a warm up and a strength exercise, whatever it's for 10 reps, whether it's for five reps, you're trying to find a regression that you can do them at a certain rep scheme for like good reps, right? As soon as we start to see wonkiness in the push up, it means that we're making it too hard, right? Classically, the push up is, right? Wrists are just over the shoulders. I screw my shoulders together. I'm, I'm flexing my lats, my quads, my glutes. Everything falls and rises at the same time, right? None of this super wide push up, right? It's gonna just hurt the shoulder over time. Okay, and that's pretty hard because you're also using your triceps to finish out that rep and, and put your arms back into extension. If you're on the ground and you're kind of fighting to come down and then kind of wiggly worming your way back up, it means it's too hard. And all we have to do, most gyms now have these uh, Rogue racks. We're not sponsored by Rogue, so that's not like product placement or anything. Um, have some sort of version of a rack where there's all these different um, holes to adjust the height of the bar. And so, I don't know, like see where it feels doable. You know, maybe start down low or maybe you have to start pretty high. Pick a height, and if you've now got your new ground level, you're gonna stay at this height for a really long time until it starts to feel stupid easy, and then you can go a little bit lower. These, these holes here in the middle like go in like little, I don't know, quarter inch type increments, so you can get really dialed in on exactly where the height feels appropriate for the workout. And if it's more reps, you're probably gonna have to go up. If you're going less reps, you can probably, it will serve you to go down a little bit because you don't have to work as hard. Uh, or well, you're still working hard, but you don't have to do as many reps. Um, and then you just pay attention to it right in your training, training log, like put it on the purple tape at Elemental Performance of Fitness. That's where I'm gonna be at for certain sets and reps. And then you go from there. It takes a really long time. I think people get really frustrated and they try this for a little while and they're like, I'm just gonna go back to the ground. This seems too easy. Stay with it for a really long time. Like, don't move from it too fast or too quickly. Go down when it makes sense. Go up when it's, when it's harder. Um, and eventually, if you stick with it, you'll be doing ground, really strong ground push-ups. Um, and and I, wanna, I don't wanna say in no time, because it will be a lot of time before you can do that, but you just gotta stick with it and not just be on the ground push-ups because you feel like you have to be there because everyone else is. Um, chances are, I see a lot Athletes across the board do really, really poor push-ups because they just feel like they're stuck on the ground. So, do it and you be thankful.